So I um, wanted to do a little bikini haul for you guys. I'm so excited. I've been talking to Morgan about needing new swimsuits. We got out to my parents' house sometimes and go to their pool. We used to go to our apartment pools and stuff. And we never, um, or I'm always complaining that I have to wear the same swimsuit. I have like a couple different options, but a lot of them are really high neck, if that makes sense. And I like, can't get a good tan, so I consistently wear the same one. Um, the same coral one, which I love, but it's just like kind of boring. And I've been looking on Amazon trying to find them, but the reviews are sketch. Haven't ordered anything. And this company actually reached out to me, and this is probably like the third or fourth bikini company or like swimmer company that has contacted me. But the rest of them just like weren't for my body style, you know, sort of like the thong style. And I just can't wear that. Um, but I looked at their website and I loved like every single one. So I decided to work with them. They sent me a few and I couldn't be more impressed. I was already a little bit worried about doing a bikini haul on my channel because like I'm in a bikini in front of like, who knows, Morgan's staring at me while I film this, <laughs> in front of who knows how many people. It's just like an awkward thing. Um, and it's just like, I don't know, kind of intimidating a little bit. And I went into this knowing, like, if you don't like them, you know, you don't have to post anything. You can just send them back and it's fine. But I love them literally every single one. I've already tried them on once for Morgan or like to try them on. And then Morgan obviously like looked at all of them. And I feel like we loved every single one. Like they all turned out so cute. I'm like amazed that the fit is so on point. Um, and I want to share. So let me flip you around and I'll show you these ones. Okay. So this is the first one. I'm obsessed with it, so let me kind of zoom in so you can see the top. So the straps are adjustable, which I love. Like, can you beat that in a swimsuit? I feel like you can't. It's got this really cute knot, super, super sturdy, like not falling out. I can walk around the pool. I can jump in the pool. It's amazing. And then it has these cute high-waisted. That's what I love about this company is that most of their um, options, or they do have a lot of high-waisted options, and that's just like my preferred you know, bikini style. And then it also has this ruching, which I feel like is just very flattering overall. So this is the first one and I'm obsessed with it. I'll have them all linked for you down below. If you want to check them out, you absolutely should. Um, they're actually having a sale too. So go look on their website and see what they have on sale. The prices are not bad. The shipping's like five to seven days, super quick. And you get a 60 day, uh, it has like 60 day returns. You can get your money back. If nothing fits, you can exchange. So really you're not having a lot of risk here. I love this one to help decide uh, which I'm gonna wear for our like Father's Day pool day, but love this. And I love that I have a white top now because I have lots of different floral bottoms and this top goes with literally everything. Okay, so this is the next swimsuit, this blue, like cobalt blue. It's got this really pretty double strap. I'm obsessed, this might be one of my favorites. Um, I knew that I wanted one this color and it just worked out that they had one. And I just love the way that it fits. Super, super comfortable. This one, the bottoms are a little more like high on the edge, as you can see. So they go high in the back. It's got a really cute crisscross back right there. But I love this one from the front. I just feel like overall it's really flattering. I feel very comfortable in it. This color looks good if you're pale or if you're tan. So it's like the best of both worlds. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention on the last one is my tops, I think for all of them, are a medium. And my bottoms are a large. So the best part about this website, and I feel like y'all will understand this, is that you can mix and match your sizes which a lot of places don't do. You have to buy the same size top as you do bottom. And as you can tell, I have a smaller size frame on the top than on the bottom. So it's always been an issue for me. Um, there would always be like extra room in the chest and it was just awkward. And I don't have that problem because you can mix and match their whole website. Literally the best. I don't know why every bikini brand doesn't have that feature, but they should. And I'm just so excited. So this is bikini number two. Okay, so this is another one that I was so excited about because I've been looking, specifically I told y'all I've been looking for Amazon swimsuits and I've been looking for a cheetah print one. Couldn't really find one where I liked the cheetah print and sure enough, they came through. So it's got this little peephole down here. So cute, the little cutout. It has like an orange liner, which I think is really cute too. The high-waisted, again, this is like perfect for tanning. And then this one adjusts completely just with the tie in the back. So it's got that pretty crisscross. I love it. I just feel like so confident in these. I just want to be at the pool every day. Wish I had these in college when I could be at the pool every day. 
I just love it so much. It feels so good in this. Um, if y'all want these exact ones, I'll link them. But like I said, you can mix and match. So if you want like a cheetah top and black bottoms or whatever, you can do that too. Okay, this is the last one. I might have saved best for last because you guys, this velvet, like I'm dying. It is so cute. The bottoms are so comfortable as far as like comfortableness they're all super comfortable but for some reason this one i think it just comes up a little higher in the front it's very comfortable so if you really want like a nice um high-waisted bottom where you just feel like secure i feel like the style will do it for you it is the velvet but it's not like hot you know what i mean it's so cute i feel like it's got that vintage vibe with the seams just so cute and i love the color just that dusty blue I love it. I also have a discount code. So go to their website, check them out, see if you like any of their stuff. And then if you do, like I said, it only takes about a week to ship. I have a coupon code and um, you can mix and match everything. You can return anything that doesn't work for you or exchange for a different size. I am just obsessed. I'm just really excited to share with y'all. Um, we are headed out. We're going to pick up some lunch. We haven't eaten today. It's two o'clock. All we've had is coffee. So we're gonna grab, um, we actually ordered and then we're like, wait, why did we order when we could just go sit there? Because um, otherwise we'd just be eating in the car. So I think we're gonna run in and just eat while we're there to a little Mexican restaurant. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. We've got some donate stuff in the back that we just loaded up. So we're gonna drop off that. And I'll show y'all some progress that we've done in the house. This weekend, we got like the rug put down in the master bedroom, which has been great. And we just got the brackets delivered. So we're gonna hang up those shelves today too, which is exciting. Um, we've got our grocery list written out. So we're ready to go for the week. But first we're gonna eat because we're starving. So hungry. So anyways, that is the quick update. And we'll talk whenever we get home. I know. Okay, y'all, we just got home and I told Morgan, I'm gonna do a grocery haul before we put it all up. And he says, what does that mean? <laughs> I love it. He's so new to the YouTube world. But okay, I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're just gonna do like a walkthrough. And then we're gonna put everything away. And then we're gonna try to hang up the shelves, hopefully. Then we picked up our favorite coffee. So glad that they have this in K-Cups. This is our favorite, the New Orleans blend by Community Coffee. Then they had this, which we think is new because it wasn't really on the shelf. It was on the very top. I don't even know how much it was, really. Probably $8. Um, but we're going to try this one as well. We got some little trash bags for, like, the waste baskets in the bathrooms. We used lots of coupons. We only spent $103. I'm so proud of us. We saved, like, $5 just because we used coupons. So, anyways, we got two bags of chips because it was, like, buy. We were already had chips on the list. And if you bought, it was basically two for the price of one. So, we bought two. We got the barbecue, sour cream and onion. We got my favorite pretzel trips, I, or crisps. I literally eat these every week with hummus. I'm just so obsessed. And then Morgan is gonna have ham sandwiches for lunch. So we got him just some wheat sub rolls. Over here, we got two packs of chicken tenders, one for meal prep, one for some dinners. We got some turkey sausage. This is also for the meal prep ham and cheese that is for morgan's sandwiches and we got some vegetables we got squash or zucchini green beans bananas squash red bell pepper green bell pepper we i think we just found out we can bring reusable bags to the grocery store again they uh wouldn't let you because of the virus but now you can so we need to remember those next time there was a um creamer coupon as well. So we got the big one. This is what Morgan loves. This is really good. Sometimes the coffee mate ones hurt my stomach though. So I stick to my coconut one. Got a couple bags of cauliflower rice. That's going to be, well, it should be two bags of that. Two bags of that for my meal prep. More blackened tenders. I've got Morgan hooked on those as well. This was free with the creamer coupon. I guess they didn't double that creamer coupon because I scanned my phone and it didn't take off that extra 75 cents. We had to get a charger, 
crushed tomatoes. This is for meal prep. Chili garlic sauce for a shrimp thing. Hummus. This was on sale. Yay. And then some toothpaste. And I think that's all we got. Okay, y'all, so this is what we have so far. Like I said, this chair isn't staying. We're going to have a lot, like probably a larger piece here, maybe a floor plant, um, but this is what we have, and I really like it so far. I definitely want to add some like greenery or little plants or something. Um, that's just a fake candle I'm going to add a battery to, so it'll like flicker, and I think we're going to switch out this photo of Morgan and replace it with a photo of us. He said it looks like a shrine of him because he's in every single photo, and I'm only in one. <laughs> But we're going to do our moving day uh, photo here that we took on the kitchen floor. And then this one I think we'll switch out to maybe a picture that we took at Christmas. Yep. And that will be really cute. But I'm loving the way that it looks so far. I don't know that I love that ladder. I feel like maybe that could go over there. Just so it's not like so many high things. And then we'll put like a big piece of something. A big furniture piece at some point <laughs> but I really love the way that the shelves turned out the shelves are from uh, a store called at home and then the brackets are from Amazon I can link them for you down below they're just like l-shaped can you see that it's just like an l-shaped bracket and we just rested these right on top because the way that these came to hang did not work so that. And I actually kind of like it this way better. I feel like they look sort of industrial and really cool. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and start meal prepping. So I'm going to make a like healthier version of jambalaya. So I'm going to use riced cauliflower. I always like the ones that has like the peas and carrots. Red bell pepper, green bell pepper, crushed um, diced tomato. I like to get the fire roasted one because it comes in the smaller can. So that's just what I use. Um, as far as spices, we're going to use garlic the blackened redfish magic, just like a blackened seasoning. And then this Creole, this is very salty, so really you don't need to add like extra salt. Um, smoked turkey sausage. What? I said just like you. Oh, Morgan says I'm salty. Funny. <laughs> hey, sorry. Full of jokes over there. <laughs> um, and then a pound of... This is a pound and a half, so I'm just going to weigh out a pound of chicken. I believe this is a pound. Oh, it's a little under a pound, 13 ounces. So I'm going to do um, adjust that, and then I'll do just a pound of the chicken. I already have this, like, pre-tracked, the recipe. Um, and as long as it makes the four servings I think it's going to make, which it should. This is a lot of food. Then it'll be around 450 calories per serving. Okay, so the jambalaya is finished. Jambalaya, eh, loose term. 
not really very jambalaya-y, so I'm not gonna add it to the blog until I get it to come out like how I want it to. Um, but it is delicious, nonetheless. It's just not very jambalaya-esque. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little tomato-y, but I would say make it again. Yeah, I think it's definitely tomato-y. Um, but I used all the same ingredients as the last sheet pan jambalaya, and it, that one wasn't tomato-y at all. So I can't really figure out what the difference is. But... Yeah. Well, anyways, this one is good. It did turn out. It's not... It's like delicious. Yeah, it's really good. It just isn't very jambalaya-esque. And I added like a ton of seasoning, so I don't think it's the seasoning. I don't know. It's a work in progress. Once it's done, I'll add it to the blog. But overall, it's still a great recipe if you like chicken and sausage and some vegetables. Super, super good. Okay, y'all, it's like 10.30. I just wanted to give y'all an overview of where we have the house currently. So in here is where we put my living room furniture. We have a box. We need a, a few boxes to, un uh, to unpackage, but that is going to move to the office or the garage it's just part of my dining table it's not going to be there it's just currently sitting there probably get a rug in here um put something on the wall and it's just like a little formal sitting room if you will over here is what i'm really excited about um so that's obviously the front door we moved this in here my baskets fit on it perfectly and i want to get like a big circle mirror with a black rim i feel like that's gonna look so cool and then probably this will move over there um, and I want to get some tall, like, grasses to put in that. This little nook is still empty. So there's kind of the overview. We hung up this picture. The kitchen, now that it's clean from dinner, you can see the full... I don't think that sign's going to stay there, but I don't want to put it up there because we already have a sign that looks like that over there. Mm, so it's over there for right now, but... There's that, here's the table. So the overview from the kitchen. And then here is the table, this is Morgan's table. We love the way that this looks, the way that it fits. Overall, we're super happy with the table and then that leads into the living room. Hello, Chance. And we've got Mr. Hutchie. And we're just chilling. Are we chilling? <laughs> yes. So cute. And then in the bedroom, so this laundry and then the bathroom stuff that I have yet to touch. So haven't got that far, but we got the skull painting hung up or the canvas. Um, we have dark gray curtains. The bedding will also be gray. We just haven't gotten the new bedding yet. Um, this is just like the current stuff, but it will be gray. The curtains will be gray. That will be a photo of us, not just the stock photo. And then um, more laundry over here. Um, and then Morgan has his dresser over here. Literally the closet and the bathroom have not been touched yet. So as you can see the craziness in there, we've got boxes, we've got bags. It's a lot, but I'm really liking that he has his own dresser space these two follow me around everywhere but yeah it's pretty late it's already like 10 40 so i'm going to probably take a shower take off my makeup get in bed this is my last night where i have to sit or i have to sleep like propped up um you have to for like three days after surgery because i guess there's just like a lot of drainage and stuff happening ready to get that out of the way so I can go back to sleeping normally and I don't have like a backache anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're just hanging out and I just wanted to say thanks for watching the vlog and kind of give you all an update of where we're at in the house. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. The animals are fighting. Okay, we'll see you on the next vlog, bye.